This car was into my mechanic recently for some routine maintenance, and my mechanic made a comment to me about uh, how awful these old carbureted engines are at uh, carbon monoxide emissions, and you really have to be careful when you're running one of these inside of an uh, enclosed building. And I thought, you know, it would be a good idea to have a carbon monoxide meter in the garage for that reason. And this one has a readout of the parts per million that it's measuring. And I don't know how often it takes a fresh uh, sample of the air. But uh, earlier I realized that this car can't even be run for even a minute without this meter going into alarm uh, and, and exceeding its maximum parts per million. Right now it's reading 51. It's supposed to alarm at 400 parts per million. And uh, it was it was pegged. It was at 999. Uh, and, and it was going crazy when this car was on. Took a while to air out the garage. Really makes you realize how long that carbon monoxide lingers once it's in the air. But I thought, I've got to have a way of running this vehicle. And uh, anybody who's paid attention to an automotive shop has seen the big rubber hoses that they use to connect to a central exhaust system. And all that is is a big blower, uh, low pressure, high volume, and uh, that's connected to wherever they want to duct the exhaust out from these cars. So I rigged this up. Uh, this car, of course, has dual exhaust. So there's there's two of these, but it's two engine 3 8 vacuum hoses with T fittings on them so that you don't have a pull on the exhaust of the car. All you have is just a draft and that's what I wanted. And uh, they're run to my low pressure, high volume, 86 year old, no, 96 year old central vacuum over here. And uh, the thing seems to work pretty well. We'll fire it up. Okay. And it's funny, I just had the car running, and you can see the uh, uh, carbon monoxide meter is uh, climbing a little bit. It was at, uh, what, 40, 50 something a moment ago, and now it's at 76, 79. Uh, I'm hoping that levels off before it goes into alarm, but we'll start the car up now. So this, as I said, the intention was that uh, the system would just draft rather than exerting a pull on the engine because I don't think that's desirable. And that's, that's kind of what it feels like to me is there's, there's just a little bit of a, a draft and if I cup my hand over this, there's not much change at all. So I would say that's a good thing. Uh, this. This is at 85, and we're just going to watch this for a minute and see what it does. As I said, within, uh, well, within 30 seconds of starting the car, without an exhaust system running, this would go into alarm and that reading would be 999 plus parts per million. It would, it would just go to the top of its scale and then it wouldn't shut up for quite some time. And uh, this, this seems to be pretty good. So far it hasn't gone into alarm so it's not sensing an unsafe level of carbon monoxide out here. Of course, the TUEC is taking the, and you can see how much moisture is in the exhaust 
can see it condensing in there, but it's pulling the exhaust through the single impeller and going out through this dryer hose that's connected to the outside of the building. The exhaust gas shouldn't be explosive or, or combustible. This is just the byproduct of combustion, so you can run it through without too much concern for explosion. to fairly stable. As I mentioned, this would have been off the charts before. In fact, that's, that's a good idea. Let's just knock these off now. Now we're just discharging into atmosphere. Unplug this. And now we'll just watch the meter. Well, of course, that's it's going right in its face, 120. And there we go. 710. Yeah, okay, time to shut it off. Okay, and uh, now that's what it was doing before, $9.99, and it will take a very long time for this to drop back down to zero for the carbon monoxide to dissipate, and uh, I'm, I'm actually going to go inside the house because it's not terribly good to be out here right now, but it appears that this uh, primitive cowled together exhaust system does help to keep the carbon monoxide levels uh, at a safe level when you're running the vehicle in the garage. So that's uh, my, my test is a success.